were in Oneonta and we're standing outside of where there's going to be a uh, test and people are going to give testimony about being opposed to the, why they're opposed to the pipeline. And, uh, and my rant is about how um, uh, uh, this regulatory process is one that is, um, is meant to keep us busy, essentially. The, uh, the, the pipeline is going to be um, uh, is going to be permitted if that's if that suits the business needs of the of the pipeline company and the gas companies and the exporters it will be permitted and so I think that our participation in in this process just makes just legitimizes the process that's essentially what 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 I'm concerned about I have nothing against the people that are here I'm I love all the people that are here but I think that when they go in to do this process, they are legitimizing the process instead of uh, instead of engaging their communities in resistance to the pipeline, the gas drilling, and, and so forth. The uh, uh, one of the one of the things that happened is that there was a big demand for another hearing, and I liken that to uh, paying uh, five dollars for a um, a lottery ticket, and you get a lottery ticket, and you scratch it off, and says you won another lottery ticket. <laughs> It's not much of a prize. No. A chance to talk again, but not have not have any uh, any any opinion. No, I mean, not have any power. So, is there any is there any upside to even though I think a lot of us would agree with you that it is kind of a fraudulent procedure? Is there any value to at least this body of people here coming together? That's what the value is. The value is if all of these people had said from the beginning, I won't participate in this process, and found other ways to, to act, that, and, and that's, a difficult, that's a difficult program to find other ways to, to, to defeat this, or gas drilling, or high uh, power lines, or ski, ski slopes, or eminent domain of this or that. People have to find other ways of dealing with that besides just taking part in a process that they're going to lose in the end, where the permit will be granted in the end. We've been doing this about gas drilling for four years. We're still doing it. Hey, Gene, before you run off, what's the red armband for? Um, uh, for rally marshals. Right, you're rally marshals. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's my turn to get in case, uh, because we're, we're bleeding to death. Our whole world is bleeding to death as a result of this this orgy of, uh, of fracking that they want to inflict on us. So it's a, it's also a metaphorical tourniquet as well as as well as a marshal's badge. Okay. <laughs> doing the federal regulatory thing, where are we? You said we're working in our own communities. What are we doing in our own communities, specifically? Well, I think that uh, uh, some communities have showed the way and they've changed the law. They've changed the law to say we will not have 
drilling in this community. And of course, there's all kinds of uh, uh, um, uh, resistance to that on the part of the corporate state, but uh, that's one way that people have worked, I think, successfully. Um, I think that people can also pressure their government, but but to, taking part in a in a, a, per, a permitting process is different from pressuring your government, which means to pressure existing officials, and get new people elected, um, and most of the most of the work that's going to be done is going to be done by people who are much younger than I am and who are going to put their bodies on the line. You think it's going to come to that? Well, in, in the case of the in the case of the. Um, Marcy South power line, which was like, oh, I don't know, it's 20 years ago now. What happened is that at, after the permits were granted, there wasn't enough political organization before the permits were granted. After the permits were granted, there was all kinds of people taking pot shots at bulldozers and stuff like that. Which just got them, you know, they, they ended up, uh, some people if ended up in jail. If you want to speak at the hearing, go inside to sign up and rejoin us out here. You know, some people, some people, you know, poured sugar in the gas tanks or whatever. Don't um, you think sometimes that's, that's, uh, that's, that's counter-ops? Do you think that's sometimes, what do they call it, false flags? It's blamed think, on us, but it's really... No, I think, no, these were landowners, actually, that tried to keep, that tried to keep the people that were building that power line off of their property. So I think that they were no. It was it was, it was legitimate. It was legitimate. The people were legitimate. It's just that they that was not a way to do it. You know, to, to let the permitting process happen, and then and then pour sugar into gas tanks. It just doesn't. I don't think that works. Constitution's got to go. Hey, Burke, don't you know? Constitution's got to go. Hey, Burke, don't you know? Constitution's got to go. Hey, Burke, don't you know? Constitution's got to go. Hey, Burke, don't you know? Constitution's well, got to go. Well, uh, I don't like any aspect of the uh, gas so setup. You know, I mean, the pipelines will bring in the gas fields, and the uh, wells will get fracked, and uh, we'll get contaminated water. Uh, so, you know, it's not a good idea. We don't need the pipeline. Where are you from, and how are things going up there? Uh, I'm in Shenango County in, no in uh, Plymouth, outside of Norwich, and uh, things are going uh, with some difficulty, you know. We're still trying to persuade the town board to pass the ban. We've yeah, been after them for about 14, 15 months now. Wow! Do you have petitions? Yeah, I mean, we've been through lots of petitions. How many? Like, what percentage? Oh, uh, 600. Well, we got, there are about 1,015 registered voters. So we've got 60%? Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, but if they wait long enough, uh, all the people who signed will either move away or die. So all they do is just keep their mouths shut and wait. What's your best recommendation for somebody else with a, with a reticent board? Be persistent. Bring in people who have witnessed the fracking, like Vera and Rebecca. I went to the I visited with Vera on Sunday and I saw the devastation that surrounds Susquehanna County. Uh, see some of the videos? Yeah, yeah. Nice the purple jacket. Oh, oh yeah. 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 She says she's under assault. Right Vera, Vera is awakened regularly from the vibration and the noise. And the wells are uh, they're scattered throughout the county. But they're only 3,000 feet from her house now. Yes. And uh, so you can hear it. You she can, can smell it. it. She you can, can hear it. it. Keeps her awake. She's calling out to us. Calling to us. Yes. She seemed very cheerful. She said, yesterday. "Someone help us! Help us! I don't know what to do. I'm so sad." She said, "The only advantage we have in this whole gas war, this is a gas war, is that we are forewarned of what can happen to us." Yeah, that's right. Pennsylvania is doing They had no knowledge of any of the witnesses. Wow. They said, in the, they said in the beginning that Constitution was looking for a soft spot. What does that mean, a soft spot? A place where they can uh, come through. Oh. Where they won't be with too much resistance. They. I don't think they.
they pick the right spot, do you? I don't know. <laughs> well, you know what? No fracking pipeline. No fracking with the fracking issue. Some of us have been on the anti-fracking issue for four years. I got a letter that shows the Constitution pipeline coming right through the middle of my property. I almost fainted. No fracking pipeline. I never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. No, it took us all by surprise. But we're all together because of the fracking. It was helpful. Wait, prior fracking was helpful to us. The fracking pipeline's got to go away.